Hi, I hope you've done well in your JEE main exams and I hope you get into the college of your dreams. Now, based on your JEE main exams marks and the percentile you get, you should put up a strategy so that you get into the college of your dreams. Now, you know that if you scored more than 200 marks, that's a really good score. That would put you somewhere in the 99.5th percentile. If you scored more than 175, somewhere in the 99th percentile. 160, 98th percentile. More than 110, you're sure that you would be in the 95th percentile. The percentile might be confusing to parents and to some of you students here. Let me simplify it for you. Let's say there are 10 lakh students that I've given the first attempt. 99th percentile would be the 10,000th rank. 98th percentile, 20,000 20, rank. 97, 30,000, similarly 95th, 50,000. You know that the JE main exam lets you qualify to the IIT, IIT exam, the JE advanced exam. It also gets you placement into NITs, which you want to get into, CFTI, Cent Centrally Funded Technical Institutes, State Funded Institutes, and other some private colleges as well. Now, what should be a strategy if you scored the 99th percentile? That is a 10,000 rank. You would get into really good colleges, really good NITs, and you know that you've got a shot at getting into the good IITs. So your focus is pretty much on JE advanced from now on. You will still give the second attempt of the JE mains. You will give again the exams called UGE, which will put you into a five-year program into the triple IIT. You will also give the other exams in the state if you want to. Let's say you scored the 90th, 98th percentile. You are in somewhere in the 20,000th rank. You know that you will get a decent college or decent C or a decent uh, engineering in the NITs, but you won't get the branch of your liking. So your strategy would be again, try to give, do well in the JE Advanced, focus on the JE Advanced, give the JE mains again, bits for sure, VIT, UG for, you know, UG for definitely, and then the other exams in the state. If you are from Karnataka, you have to give the Karnataka CT, and that's about it. You don't need to give any private colleges examination. You are in the 95th percentile. Your ranking is around 50,000. You know that at this point, J Advanced is out of your league. You'll only focus on the J main second attempt. You'll give the BITS exam, BIT exam, UG exam. You would give the state exam, Karnataka CT, MIT, PESED, and so on. And that's where you'll go. Karnataka CT is going to be very important for you if you scored around the 95th percentile because you've got a good you've got a good shot at the state level. If you scored, let's say, in 90th percentile, you have to say that J advances out of the league, J mains uh, is out of my league. You would focus on bits, BIT, uh, the state board exam, Karnataka CT, Comet K. MIT, NITTE exams, and so on. You are at pretty much at the state level. You scored less than 90th percentile. You have to focus entirely on your state board exams and the private colleges examination because at this point, your ranking is around more than one lakh. So, okay, that's your strategy going to be. You have to know that if you are above the 98th percentile, you have to focus yourself entirely to get to the top colleges in the country. Of course, you've given the JE mains, JE advanced, you'll give the BITS exams, BIT exams, you'll give the UG exam, you have to give the ISI exam, the NEST exam, and if you're interested in, um, in research, you have to see how you can get into the Indian uh, Institute of Sciences and the ISIS. So again, to conclude, what I'm trying to tell you is that to get to the college of your dreams, you need to have a strategy. Your J marks that are going to come from this exam is going to put, it's going to guide you to a certain strategy. Have a strategy. Without the strategy, you will not get, or you'll find it hard to get into the college of your liking and you'll be scrambling at the last minute. This is the strategy that I share with my students I'm sure that there's a better strategies out there. 
And as a student, as a parent, if you have a better strategy, share it. I would learn from it and a lot more other students would get benefit from it. Thank you.